Hello, everyone. I hope you're all doing great. Many of you know me and uh, have been following me on YouTube for a while. My name is Christine. I had a very rewarding career in healthcare until last year. God instructed me to leave it all behind and call me to be his messenger. You know, when God asks you to do something, you cannot hesitate. And it's never an easy decision to carry a message that is not ear tickling, but rather harsh and a wake up call uh, for many to prepare, warn people about the impending danger and the wrath of God that is about to be poured out. You don't see the danger yet, but it will come like, like in the day of days of Noah. They had no idea. They were doing their everyday tasks. They didn't pay attention to the warnings uh, until the flood came and took them all away. The dreadful day of the Lord is coming to the believers who will be left behind and to the ungodly. I have been sharing God's messages since April, but God has been preparing me for this task since 2018. So God released an important warning on August 9th, 2024, that I shared here on YouTube called, There Will Be No More Delay. It reached a very large audience, even on a glob global scale. Many other YouTube channels shared it, as well as social media platforms. God is about to pour out His wrath onto this earth. And if you are his child, you cannot be left behind. I'm going to say it again. You can not be left behind because you will experience God's wrath and you will be killed, beheaded by the Antichrist. This is not fear mongering. I'm telling you a biblical truth because if you're a believer, you need to be prepared right now at all costs. In several visions, I saw believers left behind who were brutally murdered. They were piled up like back in the Holocaust. The Antichrist will be Satan himself and will brutally massacre God's children. God is mourning over them. God is mourning over his children who will be left behind. This is not what God wants for his children. So please listen. I don't have much time to warn you. I have released numerous messages. And if you don't find enough information in this message, please watch my other videos. My videos are not long. They are worth watching. They're full of revelations and messages from God. You won't find all the information in this one video only. Everything you need to know step by step about preparations for the rapture is also in my videos. Prayers for repentance also there in my videos. God does not speak without a cause and his voice does not return void but accomplishes what it was sent out for. Do not ignore his voice. I'm going to share a vision with you. Um, I've been receiving more uh, visions in the last two to three weeks, which is even unusual for me. Uh, but it is not for me. It is for you. The word of God says in Joel 2.28, uh, when it talks about the day of the Lord, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. Your young men will see visions. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour my spirit. So again, we know that many huge numbers are receiving rapture visions and dreams. We know that we have no time. Jesus is coming. This is not the visible and physical coming. No eyes will see him. We will meet him in the clouds. Check your church and see if they believe in the rapture or not. Because many, as we are just finding out in these last hours, only believe in the physical coming of Jesus. Those churches will lead you astray. Those churches will not prepare you for the rapture. So in this vision this week, I saw, and, and this is a metaphor, I saw a hen. And the hen was calling for her chicks. 
I knew right away that this hand represented God. God. Remember the last few weeks I shared a few times how God is gathering his children right now. So the hand was calling out for her chicks and they were gathering around her. Then hand was calling and the chicks were coming. In this vision, the sky was very dark and the storm was forming. I knew there was danger. Then I saw one chick being stuck into the ground. There was something like a, like mud. The chick was stuck in the mud. The hen was calling out, looked back, but the hen had to stay with the rest of the chicks to keep them safe. Then I saw a wolf, a wolf that was about to eat the chick. So impending danger, dark sky, storm, lightning, and a wolf. Are you that chick that is stuck in the mud and cannot move? Get unstuck very, very quick because we are running out of time. There's no time. Come and gather around God. Seek Jesus because he's coming. He's coming as we speak. He's descending as we speak. Are you in a church that is misleading you and you are stuck? Wolf represents false teachers and false prophets in the Bible. If you're in a church that does not talk about the rapture and the signs of the times, there are many churches right now that are truly delusional. Nothing is happening. They just want to feel good and be comfortable in their simple faith. Faith is not simple. God is not simple. Please get out of false teaching. I need to shake you. Wake up. The time is now. Finally, finally, the time is now. Some say, well, my church doesn't talk about the coming of the Lord. Revival will have to come first and the great harvest. Then this and that and many prophecies need to still be fulfilled. It doesn't matter. The rapture will happen. It will come regardless. Jesus will come in any minute, regardless of what your church says or not say. He's above the leaders. He's above the pastors. Wake up from the slumber. Look around you. I know churches who even believe that they have the fulfilling of the Holy Spirit. They have prophetic ministry, but they are spiritually dead. They prophesy good things, never accept corrections. They are delusional. The Lord says that the blind leads the blind and, and even the ones who can hear cannot hear with clarity. Satan has been targeting the churches for decades. And even more today, wake up. In the last days, perilous times will come. Perilous times are here. Today you must find out and seek the truth for yourself. The word of God says that in the last days, false teachers and false prophets will come and mislead many. God will have no mercy on them. Many will be left behind because of them and will be killed by the Antichrist. As they also have to experience and they also will have to experience God's wrath. One of the things I saw on August 9th in my video I posted about God's being angry and pouring out his wrath on this world because of the pastors and churches using his name for gain, misleading many. See, see if you're God's child, you cannot, you cannot be left behind. Many think they are ready. And they don't have to do anything. Grace theology has become very popular. No, it's not true. You must endure until the end. You must persevere. You must work out your redemption with fear and trembling. You must pray always to be found worthy. You must seek the Lord. You must love Jesus. He's coming for a bride that is in love with him. Recognize false teachers and false prophets by their fruits how they speak, what they post on Facebook. Do they even talk about the rapture? Are they preparing you? Or blessed hope, wake up, 
from the spiritual slumber. You must seek the Lord and the truth for yourself. So I need to tell you that God loves you so much. Guys, you have no idea how long. God has been restraining his anger for us. He loves you more than you can imagine. God is mourning over his children, those who will be left behind and be killed by the Antichrist. So if you are that little chick that is in the mud, we need to get you out of there. I need to get you out. God needs to get you out fast. God is gathering his children right now. Wake up from the slumber. Move. You cannot be left behind. Get on board. Do not take a chance. Listen to this message. Today you still have time. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. Bless you.